Okay, now that we've gotten into the semester a little bit, I wanted to go back over um, a couple of the analysis questions at the very beginning of the semester in the What Do You Know quiz. Um, I'm just going to work through those. Um, just keep in mind that there are many ways often to solve basic you know, analyses or answer basic questions like, how many of these are close to this? How many of these fall within this other thing? There's the selection tools, there are clipping and intersecting tools. Uh, with raster data, we can get into uh, zonal statistics and summarize within. Um, so a lot of different tools are somewhat redundant, but can result in slightly different uh, outcomes because of the coordinate systems and the way they handle coordinate systems. Some tools will use the projection um, and some will automatically calculate geodesically. So it's, it's, there, are, there are definitely nuances that will affect the results, but let's just work through these. The first question that I asked you guys was the total length of Duck Creek. And so um, I would just start out by going into, and sorry, that's off your screen there, the attribute table, and do a select by attributes for Duck Creek. Whoops, that's not right. That's what we want. We want where our GNSI name is equal to, hello, Duck Creek. Okay. And we'll hit OK. So 13 records were selected. Uh, let's see here. So shape length, segment length. I always, as you know, recalculate these. Uh, and it doesn't look like it's right protected, so I'm going to go ahead and recalculate. Um, and I don't ask you for specific units here. So it's up to you to calculate the units. Again, I'm doing a really nice job of managing <laughs> what you can see. Uh, let's go back here and bring this guy over. Okay. So we're going to calculate the shape length. I'm going to calculate it geodesically. Um, I'm going to use the curved surface. I feel this is the most accurate. And because I'm only processing the 13 records, it's only going to update the lengths for the selected segments. OK, I'm also going to uh, zoom to selection here. And just see what we have to work with. OK, that's a pretty conti continuous section here of a creek. So I also trust that. And then I'm going to look at my statistics and the chart properties. And for the selection that I've made, and I calculated it in meters, the sum is 13,500 and 70 roughly meters. So what did I? So that's what I put in here for um, for this answer here. So how might it have turned out differently? Would be calculating in a different unit, uh, calculating um, using the projection, um, possibly using the original data that was in the. Um, that was in the data set here. Um, I'm not sure what shape the original uh, lengths were in um, in the attribute table, so it's possible if you didn't recalculate these, these could have been incorrect, or they could have been in a weird unit that you aren't aware of. Um, so if you um, gave some answer, some value other than 13,570, if you've got the correct units on there, that's fine. Um, okay, I'll be back with the second question.